In this screencast, we'll look at radiation exchange between opaque, diffuse, and gray surfaces in an enclosure. So most surfaces cannot be considered black bodies. Radiation can leave due to reflection, emission, experience absorption. So we're going to make some assumptions to make things easier. We're going to say that the surfaces are all isothermal, opaque, diffuse, and gray. Let's look at one surface in an enclosure. And so the irradiation, G sub I, is evaluated from the radiosities of all the other surfaces. So how do we do that? Well, the total rate at which radiation reaches the surface from all other surfaces is going to equal the summation from J equals 1 to N, where N is the number of surfaces, the view factor from that one surface to the original surface times the area of that surface times the radiosity. By the reciprocity rule, which was discussed in the screencast on view factors, F sub J I times the area sub J is equal to F sub I J times A sub I. And this will allow us to cancel our a sub i from both sides of the equation. So now we're left with our irradiation equals the sum for j equals 1 to n, f sub i j times the radiosity from surface j. Now let's go back to our equation for the net radiative heat transfer from surface I, and that equals the area of that surface, the radiosity minus the irradiation. In other words, what leaves the surface minus what is incident on the surface. We can now write it in terms of this heat transfer, and this is equal to our area, the radiosity from I, minus the summation from J equals 1 to N, F sub I J times J sub J. Now we're going to use a little mathematical trick. The sum of the view factors in any enclosure has to equal 1. So now we can put that in front of our J sub I. And so this can be finally simplified. Our area times the summation from J equals 1 to N. The view factor between them and the difference in radiosities. This can also be considered the summation for J equals 1 to N of Q from I to any one of the surfaces J. So this would be the net rate of radiation transfer from I to the sum of the radiative exchange with other surfaces. Now we can also write Q sub I as E sub B I minus J sub I, where E sub B is the emissive power of a black body. One minus our emissivity divided by the emissivity times the area of the surface, and therefore this is going to equal the sum from J equals 1 to N, 
the difference between the radiosities of each surface, a sub i, f sub i, j, to the minus 1. So I just rewrote this equation. And again, this can be used for exchange with any number of the opaque, diffuse gray surfaces in an enclosure. And it might be easier to visualize it like this. So here's our radiative heat transfer rate, and it goes into a network. And we start with this emissive power of a black body. And again, this is part of the driving force where the resistance, one minus the emissivity over the emissivity times the area. And that goes to the radiosity J sub I. And now we are going to look at all the different surfaces that this can exchange radiative heat transfer with. So we'll call this surface one in the enclosure. So here, the resistance is going to be A sub I, F sub I 1, because it's the view factor between our surface I and what we're going to call surface 1, and this is J1. We can also look at this as Q sub I 1 or the net rate of radiation transfer from I to surface 1. Now let's look here, and this is going to go to surface 2. So this is still A sub I, F sub I 2, and this can be looked at again as Q from surface I to surface 2. And you can put together a network like this for any number of surfaces within the enclosure.